good morning and welcome back to a new video. We're currently at this amazing park up, we're on like a little mountain overlooking the beach. We're still in the Mughla region, but that down there that you can see is Patara beach. And that starts the beginning of the Antalya region. So the rough plan really is for the next few days to continue traveling along the turquoise coast and try and experience and enjoy a bit of van life by the sea. I'm preparing breakfast. Here we have some kiwis and strawberries. I wanted to do a smoothie, but I don't have all of the ingredients, so we're gonna eat them on their own. This morning it was so beautiful. I connected so much with nature. We could hear the waves coming in. Although we are up here, the sound was very strong. These strawberries, I bought them for less than one euro. Can you believe it? So this is what we're dealing with today. I hope we can make it up. I have no idea why we keep putting ourselves in this situation, but the view was well worth it. This spot is also well known with locals because there are a few families doing picnics and there are a lot of cascadas. Oof. They are so annoying Zzz, all the time. Just stop, please. I hate this noise, but they have to live as well. <laughs> and we're definitely gonna miss this amazing view that we have here. Wow. We are so sad to leave, guys. But fingers crossed we can make it out. We made it out quite easily. I knew that we were gonna do it. Yeah, even me deep down, but still, I was thinking about it. <laughs> Had that little 1% doubt in my mind that we might get stuck. Not pretending. Let's check out more of the coast. So we've just arrived at Patara Beach and a lot of people told us this it's really windy a lot of the time super windy here i don't even think you can hear me but we're not going to stay here for tonight just stopped off to check it out and further along this beach here there's also some ancient ruins as well which you can check out if you're here so that's where we were this morning Guess what we saw? A snake! Oh my god! It was crossing the road. I didn't get it on footage. This time it wasn't that big. It was like the size of two fingers, I think. It was black. It came out and then it went in. And I'm sorry, I didn't have the camera on my hand, so... <laughs> no footage. <laughs> but we saw it. <laughs> Second snake, yeah? Yeah, second one. by the beach now that the summer is nearly here it's really getting hot during the day here in Turkey so not gonna lie I had a quick nap and it was a really warm day today I think over 35 degrees yeah it was very warm and hot in the van especially out here we're okay <laughs> yeah so now sunset was just beautiful and it's a nice breeze here by the lighthouse What a 
stunning place. Kalkan, eh? Kalkan, baby. Kalkan, baby. You have to come here one day if you are in Turkey. <laughs> yeah, last time we were in Turkey, we drove right past this place. So I'm so glad we're spending the night here. And tomorrow, hopefully, we're going to do some swimming. Are you in love with Kalkan? It's really nice. We just parked the motorhome down there near the boat. And within two minutes, we're at this lighthouse with a fantastic view. Well, this is what we needed really. Like the last few days, we've been quite tired because we've been traveling for so long now. You know, we've always been like filming for you guys and traveling to different places. But I think now we need kind of like a little break this week where we'll keep filming, but we're just gonna try and enjoy the moment a bit more. Maybe we'll stay here one day, yeah? Yes, maybe. Wish I could stay here for a week. And I also spotted somewhere here a turtle. But it's gone. <laughs> this is the call for prayer. I think they call it five times a day. Now there are the lights on and it looks like Tower Mina in Sicily because there are like the houses how they are built they are like a staircase one on top of each other just beautiful I can't believe this is Turkey <laughs> that's us for tonight parked up by the boats there's Tandy no this is us this is us <laughs> yeah Shani wants the boat all of a sudden <laughs> yeah I told Chris which one I love so maybe in the future, you know, he comes here and he buys one for me. <laughs> I doubt it. We've got Tandy here. And hopefully we'll be able to hook up with the electric as well. Yeah. Good morning. I'm still a bit asleep. Because we woke up early today. <laughs> You're so cute. What a beauty. <laughs> oh my god, they are so <laughs> It's an Italian convoy. Me. I want to me. Why are they gonna wave at you? Ciao! Ciao. They're from Italy. So, Italian convoy. Yes! This is called Caput. Caputa's beach. <laughs> this is the amazing beach.
Holly today is not going in because the waves are coming in and they are a bit strong for her and to be honest I also got this leash today by mistake I forgot to bring the other one and I'm not in the mood to get up there again so I have this and she's not going in we are doing it in turns as well so first went Chris now I'm going So our audio cut out here, and honestly I forgot what we were exactly saying, but it was something along the lines, how beautiful this beach is. How salty our hair is, and how salty our skin feels as well. And also, that we got a beautiful tent. You go first. She's not moving. Doing? The cold water woke someone up. Mm. Come on, give me the ball. Give me the ball. Should we just stay here? Wow, look at that, how beautiful. So pretty from up here. I'm loving it here. It's so cool to drive here. We are on our way to Kos and the scenery is just breathtaking. We have seagulls, oh my God, look at that, wow! We got the sea, which is so blue, and then we got the, the sun, you know, and the, the sun is very strong, that there is like a white mist everywhere with the islands. Then we got the rocks, it's just so beautiful. So we're going to continue driving along the turquoise coast here and our next stop is Kass. Now Kass is quite a tourist hotspot so I don't know whether we're going to be able to find a uh, park up that easy but we've got a few spots marked so we're going to go and check them out and hopefully we can find a nice place by the beach. The only thing that I hate are the cars coming my way, on my lane. <laughs> Overtaking, yeah. <laughs> Is it nice? Just wonderful. But there is no sand, it's just rocks. So we move on to our next destination. Woo! So this is our park up here, right by the beach. As you can see, we're just on the side of the road. There's a couple more vans here, one guy here, but the beach is just behind us. So really nice spot here in Kass and uh, like the only downside I would say is that the traffic coming by the main road but apart from that just a perfect spot with the beach behind us Honey girl, you tired? having a mini salad with some beef patties, avocados, tomatoes, peppers, which is really good. We are in, right by the sea and it's amazing. We are in the sun and it feels great. <laughs> we don't get to do this a lot, but because we're very busy. Yeah, that's true, but then you enjoy it even more when you do. Mm -hmm. A few moments later. I'm not gonna lie, after our lunch, we haven't really moved from here. We've been in this position for two hours. Yeah, we've just been having a chat and discussing life after Turkey, what we're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> and we're so confused. Today is absolutely beautiful here, parked up by the beach, 
and just in front of us, uh, we can see the Greek island. So would you believe it, like a couple of kilometers away, the islands here are Greek, not Turkish. But the Turkish Riviera is absolutely brilliant and it's been amazing, like just driving along the coast, yes. checking out these different it's been beaches. wonderful, yes. We're just loving the fact that we are here by the sea, enjoying the sea breeze, and it's just so peaceful here, except for a few cars passing by. Yeah, and we we're just saying, like, it's past halfway for our Turkey trip, so it's kind of sad as well when you think like things are coming to an end. We've got a long way left, but no, we've got, we've got, we've got yeah. a lot, lot more things to do. <laughs> but I think we just crossed the halfway mark, so yes. we're feeling we're halfway in. <laughs> yeah. We originally wanted to see much more of Turkey, uh, but there are some places which we're going to have to miss out um, due to time constraints. But all that means is we're going to have a part two at some point. So Turkey part two Why in not? the future for sure. There's so much to see. So this much country see. is so huge. But now we come to Turkey. <laughs> uh, I am Turk or rather your caravan. So I was just speaking with many of the locals and some of them have been here like a few weeks on end and I guess that's why it's quite busy. So very popular with the locals. We're really loving it here, had a lovely afternoon by the beach and I think we'll go down and have a swim tomorrow. And the only downside is the traffic. So obviously on the main road you hear a bit of traffic, but apart from that, it's a camping paradise. So absolutely stunning beach behind me. Does it get any better than this? I don't think so. So one of our chairs is broken major disaster for today. So I think these are the only camping chairs that exist. You see them all over the world, from Europe to Turkey. Everyone has the same green ones. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. So top off a relaxing day. We've come down here by the sea to listen to the waves and have a bit of wine. Fan life by the sea. Love it. Truly amazing. Now we are seeing the different colors in the sky. As the sun is setting down, it's just beautiful. Bless you. <laughs> yeah, all the people have left. There's just a few families left having a picnic, I guess, or just watching the sunset. But all the people that were swimming, they've all gone now. So the beach is quite empty. That's the problem with these beaches. Like when you get to them, you just want to stay here. But I know that tomorrow we're going to move on to another one, I think, yeah? <laughs> uh, but I could stay here, really. It's week. like you leave a piece of your heart in every place that you love. It's happened to us so many times <laughs> during this trip that we love a place, we want to stay there and then we really can't. That's true, yeah. Right, and in front of us we've got the Turkish Riviera carrying along and then we've got Greek islands opposite. So absolutely stunning view. There are about an, another 12 camper vans and motorhomes, I think, here in total, yeah? Mm -hmm. And... It's I, perfect because you have beach on both sides. It's like a cove beach on one side and then you have this beach. Yes, yeah, so you've got two beaches, the one I showed you and then this one as well. So beautiful. And the thing is, like, with the amount of vans here, I doubt this place will last much longer because... We met a couple as well and they told us that there is a sign yeah. over here that it says no camping but since there are so many we're gonna stay here for the night <laughs> yeah they've been here like for two weeks some people have been here for three weeks we're not gonna miss this opportunity to leave <laughs> which is nice but it's one of those places where i think if we come in a couple of years time it won't be available be to like, stay here yeah. yeah in summer winter maybe you know in summer which is a shame really it's a bit of a problem which you can't really fix, you know, because there needs to be like areas for everyone. People to camp, people to park to just come for a swim and everything. It's hard. Not an easy thing to fix. But as we've mentioned already in our previous vlogs, Turkey is one of those places where you feel the true sense of freedom. 
And although there are rules, obviously, there's a lot of places like this where you can just park up beside nature and enjoy it. But anyway, for now, we're just gonna enjoy the night and we'll catch up with you later. See you in the next one.